guys, it's Alicia. Today I am going to be making a recipe that has cauliflower rice in it. Now I have never used cauliflower rice before, but I picked up some of this frozen cauliflower rice from Sam's Club a while ago because I want to try it out and just see what I think about it because I know a lot of people love the cauliflower rice. So what I'm going to be making today is a recipe that I found on the Weight Watcher website and it is called Cheesy Cauliflower Waffles. So I thought this would be a fun way to try out the cauliflower rice. Um, so what you're gonna need to make this is first you're gonna need two cups of cauliflower rice. I'm assuming that they mean fresh. I do not have fresh, I have the frozen. And so that's what I'm gonna use. And then you're gonna need a half cup grated carrot. I've got a little more than that here, but that's fine. I like to use extra veggies in my recipes anyway. Then you're gonna need a tablespoon or so of it calls for chives, I'm using green onions. They're pretty much the same thing. Um, then you're gonna need five cheese sticks. I think the recipe calls for the Weight Watcher brand of cheese sticks, but I'm gonna be using the Sargento. They are only a point a piece, which is the same as the Weight Watcher ones. So basically you wanna use five cheese sticks that are in the point a piece range. Then you're gonna need one egg beaten, the recipe calls for two tablespoons of fresh parsley. I do not have fresh, so I'm gonna be using about two teaspoons of the dry. Whenever you sub with a dry herb, you wanna use about two thirds of what they call for um, with the fresh. Then I've got a little pepper, a little salt, and then I'm gonna need this cooking spray because I'm gonna be making these in a waffle maker. These also have a sauce that you can make to go with them and all that is gonna be is a quarter cup of non-fat plain Greek yogurt and a little bit of horseradish sauce and then also salt and pepper in that too. So that's what you're gonna to need to make these. Let me get started and I will get these going. So the first thing I'm gonna do before I make these is I'm gonna make up the sauce just so that is done and out of the way. So I'm gonna take about a quarter cup yogurt and I'm going to add about a tablespoon of horseradish to that, add a little ground pepper and a little salt and I'm going to mix that all up real well. And that is what it looks like. And I don't know about you guys, but I love horseradish, and so this smells really, really good. But if you don't like horseradish, you definitely don't need to make this up. But I think it smells amazing, and I think it's gonna be really, really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and just set this aside while I'm making my waffles. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my waffle maker here and get it preheating. So I've got that plugged in. So it is heating up as I'm doing the rest of this. And then I'm gonna take my cheese sticks here and it says to shred them or finely chop them. I'm gonna just finely chop them up. Um, I could get out the uh, food processor or my KitchenAid cheese shredder, but I don't wanna do all that. So I'm gonna just take these and I'm just going to chop them up as finely as I can. And I'm gonna call that good. So I'm gonna just bunch them all together like this and then just kind of chop them up. Okay, I've got these pretty much nice and chopped up. And if you haven't tried these Sargento um, cheese sticks before, they are really, really good. I highly recommend them. They're just one point on Weight Watchers. So, I'm gonna take these, now that I got them chopped up, toss them in my bowl, and then I'm gonna just take the remainder of my ingredients, my carrots, and my cauliflower. Now, I did let this completely thaw, too, I should say. My egg that has been beaten, and I'm gonna put probably a little over a tablespoon of green onions in there, a couple teaspoons of parsley, a 
I ended up dumping a little more than a couple teaspoons in there, but that's okay. All right, and then I'm gonna add probably quarter teaspoon, eighth teaspoon of uh, fresh ground pepper to this, just kind of however much you want. And then about a quarter teaspoon of salt. And then I'm gonna just mix this all up real well. Okay, that all mixed up, looks like that. Now I'm gonna take my um, waffle maker here. And it is nice and hot. I'm gonna take some of this cooking spray and I'm gonna just spray it down real good. And then, I'm gonna take about three quarter cup here. to just close that and let that cook for about three or four minutes. And I'm gonna see where we're at. Okay guys, moment of truth. That turned out like a complete disaster. So um, it did not stick together at all. This is basically how it came out. Um, clearly does not look like a waffle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another egg to this and see if that will help this kind of stay together a little bit, bind it a little better. Um, so I'm going to add an extra egg to what I've got remaining here, and then I'm going to try this again. But uh, so far, this has been, well, that looks like waffles there, <laughs> but this has been kind of a complete failure. So let me see if I can fix it. I have added an egg to this, and I've also, before I did that, went ahead and um, kind of blotted this down a little bit to remove some of the extra moisture that was in there. I should have kind of dried out my cauliflower before putting this in here, I think. So I think the extra moisture was not helping either. And I don't know if I removed enough of it or if the egg is gonna help, but we shall see. So I'm gonna try this again. Spray it down real well again. And this time I'm gonna kind of just put a little bit in each side. And I will be back to see how this turns out. All right, those kind of came out. So that worked a whole lot better than the first one I did. So note to self, uh, dry off your cauliflower if you're using frozen and add an extra egg just for more of a binding agent in these. And turned out kind of decent. Yeah, they look good. You wanna try a bite? Sure. Okay. I'm gonna have them try a bite of these before I do the rest of them. That definitely stayed together a whole lot better than the uh, first one. That horse ride, it's gonna be overpowering. Yeah, I might have put a little, a little too much in there, but. So the waffles themselves, they just taste really fresh. Mm -hmm. um, the sweetness of the carrots really coming through. And then the, uh, the caramelization from the waffle oven or waffle iron um, adds a, it's almost a like a pastry taste or hmm. a, a pan, you know. So like, like a waffle. Taste. Yeah. 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 So it's a nice it's a nice mix of the fresh and then the savory and and um, and sweet all kind of mixed together. 
Low carb waffle there. Well, that's what you definitely call a low carb waffle. And the horseradish sauce is good. It's just um, I put a, a little, little, too, a little I, goes a long way. I put a little too much horseradish in it, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, that was my first attempt at uh, using cauliflower rice. And, you know, not a total success, but not a total failure either. Um, like I said, I would definitely make sure to, uh, to pat dry your cauliflower if you're using frozen and add that extra egg. I think that did make a difference in keeping these into uh, somewhat of a shape. This is gonna end up making, I don't know, probably the recipe says four three quarter cup, but uh, that's about, the two of those was about three quarter cup. So I'm not sure what it's actually gonna end up making, but if you do, if you divide this into four, each serving is three points, which is pretty low. And I think that's probably pretty satisfying really for a fourth of that mixture. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.